Hi everybody, you're probably wondering, what is this face hugger thing that is sitting on the front of my laptop monitor? Well, my friend, that is um, a Spider X Pro from Datacolor, and I've just finished calibrating my uh, my laptop monitor. Now, obviously I've done this before, but for, for dramatic effect on the video, I've put it on. So I need to take that off now. Let's put it down there. And we now need to click on finish. And we need to save. And there we're at this screen. So you may well be thinking, what do you mean calibrate your monitor? Why would you want to calibrate your monitor? Well, the reason is that um, in many situations, the actual colours and the brightness and the darkness and the contrast on your monitor will be different from everybody else's colour and brightness um, on their monitors and also on their printers too. And you may well think, well, well does, does, that, does that really matter? Because I only ever look at, you know, my computer. And the answer is, well, yes. Especially if you share your photos online, you know, and you, you, you send them to people, you know, on Flickr or Instagram or, um, you know, any of the photo sharing apps. If the colour that you've got in your photo, say you've done some editing, is different to what other people see, they may be like, well, wait a minute, that's meant to be Ferrari red in that photo, but clearly it's not Ferrari red. And again, that isn't, you know, the end of the world for stuff like that. But if you, for example, you're sending photos to a uh, to a printer to be printed out, you know, you'll want to have um, a, a, a true representation or as true as you can get representation of the colours on your monitor that you know will then come out of the printer. And this, this, is, this is for home use as well. But also imagine for professional use as well. So let's say you're sending photos to a client, you know, you've done some work for, and they look at it and they go, well, that, that's not the colour of my, my product. What's going on? So this is where the, Spy, the Spider X Pro really comes into its own. Um, so what basically it is, there's a little sensor there, little little um, lens, and what that does is combined with the software that you you, you uh, download for it um, it displays colors on your monitor and then the software then adjusts the color gamut and the settings on your monitor so you get better things so this is a bit tricky to show on here but if I switch between hopefully we'll see that is quite blue so that's the original color of my monitor and then the proper color is that color now I see to it see if I turn off the artificial lights in here see if that's so that's that's quite blue and that's a bit normal. Again, what we're relying on here is the colour <laughs> balance of my um, my phone. Um, so, as you can see, let, let, let's take a, another example. So let's say this rather this rather pretty Ford Escort car. Let's say I was doing some product shots of this for a, for a paying client. Now, the blue of this car is very specific. It's a specific colour blue that the owner of the car you know, will will know. So it's very important that when I'm doing any edits to the, to the um, to the photos, I make sure it's the right color blue. I mean, the first thing is obviously on site when you're taking the photos, you're gonna take it, you know, take a gray card and get get a white balance so that your camera is taking the right picture. But then again, when you come in, you want to increase the contrast, or increase the saturation. You want to keep, you want to make sure you've got a true representation. So that when you print out the photos for the client or you send them to them, you've got the best representation of the colour. Now, obviously, if it gets to them and they've got a monitor that is wildly out of calibration where they've turned the saturation all the way up or, or the hues wrong, there's nothing you can do about that. But for hard copies of stuff that gets printed out as well, this can be very, very important. Um, and in fact, you know, you've probably all we probably all had the thing where you go to print out a photo and you get get to the printer and you, you look at it and you go, well, that red that red looks off, that blue looks off, that purple isn't quite right. And that is often because as you're doing your edits on your computer, the colours that you're seeing aren't a true representation. And that is where products like the Data Color Spider X Pro come into their own. Now, they're not cheap. You know, something like this will set you back about £110 on on uh, on amazon um, but as it says here for serious photograph photographers and designers it's all about making sure that you get that proper 
uh, color representation i mean we should all be fairly good now at realizing the fact that you know when you're out there with your digital camera you're going to take a uh, you know take a picture of a gray card or a white you know white card so you can take a custom white balance if you do, if you're doing something um, where you want the colors to be accurate you know, we don't do the same for our monitor, and that is what the Data Color Spider X uh, Pro allows you to do. You can calibrate your monitor. In fact, I'll tell you, let's see if I can switch backwards and forwards. I think you can. Oh no, I can't. Right. Okay, because I've got the program on, but we can do it kind of there. So not calibrated. So it's got that blue cast and calibrated where it's a lot. It's a truer representation of what the colors are. In fact, I, in fact, watching this video, you can probably see because I'm under artificial light, everything looks a bit orange around, doesn't it? But hopefully, the pictures on the screen of my monitor look better. So there we go. Uh, Data Color Spider X Pro. They were very kind enough to send me one of these to to do a review for and have a play around with. I'm very very pleased with it. Um, kind of um, encourages me to do more serious in inverted commas photography but it's all about having that workflow that involves um a uh, a process that maintains the integrity uh, uh, of the color balance of, of your photos anyway that's enough from me um if you've got any questions or comments put them down below if you enjoyed the video hit the like button if you want to see more of the same press subscribe and i will of course see you again soon